of improvements could be coming to roads in the Coastal Empire. That's according to the Georgia Department of Transportation study. It's all in preparation to a major employer opening its doors at that Bryan County mega site you see behind us. Leaders from the Georgia Department of Transportation across the region were invited by Chatham County to hear about why they need to get ahead of the growth. Camille Syed tells us about some of their findings. A manufacturing evolution. That's how the Georgia Department of Transportation Commissioner explained the boom coming to Chatham, Bryan, Bullock, and Effingham counties as elected officials met here to hear about a recent transportation study. Local and state politicians and port leaders all under one roof to learn about the more than 20 projects detailed in this study looking at road widenings and extensions, intersections, and railroad crossing and improvements. Some include improvements to I-95 and Pooler Parkway, a US-80 and State Route 204 widening. The expected traffic from the Hyundai EV plant underway in Bryan County is one reason for this study, but the study shows the Savannah Port growth could also double, if not triple, the amount of traffic because of all the trucks on the roads. It's really looking at mobility. What are the solutions that we need to do so that everybody in this area has the freedom to move about and not be stuck in traffic. The study looks as far ahead as 2050, so it may be a while until you see some of the changes come to fruition. Reporting in Chatham County, Camille Syed, WTOC News. Hyundai is at a new center of a new partnership formed today. The company inked an agreement with Georgia Southern University and Ogeechee Tech, making them the latest schools in our area to work together to make sure the workforce can stay local in the years ahead. The group say the agreement is aimed at more 